Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video and we have got what I think is the best team in Dokkan right here. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at a double LRUI Goku led Realm of Gods team. Um, you know, again, led by both a leader UI Goku and then of course a friend UI Goku. Um, shout out to the homie Hydros uh, for, you know, providing me with the footage. You know, for getting it to where we've got the LR UI Goku um, over here on JP, right? So we can run the blue fusions next to UI Goku. So we have the three best units in the game. UI Goku, Blue Vegito, Blue Gogeta. I think that's pretty much without question that they are the three best units in the game. You know, maybe you personally think that the blue fusions are way better than UI Goku or something like that. That's fine. But I think the three of them are... There's only three units in the top tier. And I think... UI Goku and both Blue Fusions. So let's go ahead and take a look at how good, you know, the team is going to be now that we're at UI Goku. But first, let's take a word from our sponsor. Yo, 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 what's good, guys? This video is sponsored by Bleach Immortal Soul, a fresh new Bleach RPG on mobile created by the actual Bleach Animation Production Committee. So this game is officially licensed. This game looks beautiful, filled with action-packed fights and exciting turn-based battles. With its full-screen effects and the epic Bankai releases, this will make you want to dive back into the world of Bleach. It is time. There are various modes you can choose from. There's PvP and Battle Arena, where the high stakes and dynamic gameplay determines whether your squad succeeds or fails. And of course, of course there's a story mode featuring everything you love from the original anime. Relive your favorite moments revisiting all the classic stories with the original voice actor. Now I know you guys got your favorite characters from the show. <laughs> Yorichi. <laughs> well whoever it is, you can unlock and level your favorite character and don't stop at one, collect them all if you want. Oh and I almost forgot, it's free! And it's available for everyone on both iOS and Android. So be sure to support the channel by clicking the link in the description to download Bleach Immortal Soul. If you click the link you can redeem a prize. You can get 5,000 gold two gotcha tokens, and 50 soul jade. Thanks again to the people at Bleach Immortal Soul for sponsoring us. Anyways, let's continue the video. Alright, now one of the big important things to mention too about this team build that we've got here is their... Dude, the Realm of Gods team is like now... You know, I, I probably... I feel like I would argue that I still think the Pure Saiyan category team um, has the best category roster, but... Uh, there's just no way I see... There's no way that this Realm of Gods team is not the best team in the game. Like, just... Okay. So, if we're talking just specifically over in a flash, like, Realm of Gods units, like, just with that alone, the roster is insane, right? Think about the power that we did not bring. Like, I did not bring LR God Goku onto the team here. We could have brought LR God Goku, right? I chose to bring the AGL Blue Gogeta instead. You know, we have physical Vegito Blue on the team with his EZA and how powerful he is. You know, think of the fact that we could have gone with Tech Vegito Blue. Now, you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of Tech Vegito Blue. Um, I, I do I, I do like him. I think he's okay. I, you know, I just, I tend to have really bad luck with all the Vegitos. Um, but physical Vegito Blue, to me, his EZA, like, he's just so overpowered. That even though I typically have really bad luck with getting crits and stuff like that with him, um, he is still able to be absolutely crazy. And again, I, while we have the blue fusions on screen, I want to repeat myself over and over and over again that the the blue fusions in base form are much better than a lot of people give them credit for. Like, I have to continually say that. Um, they are so good, even in base form, right? Like, it's not a matter of... Oh, you know, you just got to, like, deal with them until you get them to transform into the blue Super Saiyans. They're still super good before that. Okay, we got lucky with a million dodges for UI Goku early, so he should be hitting pretty good throughout the rest of the fight. Now, keep in mind, the attack stats we're going to see might be a bit lower than some of these units that we're used to. Keep in mind that we are on a double 130% lead team, right? We are not on a team um, that's uh, double 170% or anything like that. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how long it's going to take before the blue fusions would overtake UI Goku and damage. I mean, a lot of that's going to depend on how many dodges we get in, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, the blue fusions, you know, once they transform, um, there is just not really much out there that's just going to get in their way, right? They are just going to completely obliterate. Like, that's the thing. I, I feel as though 
when people like are like when we're talking about the comparison between UI Goku to these two, Vegito and Gogeta, basically what people are really thinking of is they have the image in their heads of transformed Gogeta and Vegito, you know, fully built up, rocking their active skills like just absolutely insanity, right? Like Gogeta with like a six million attack stat while he's super effective against all types, like just pure insane ridiculousness that these two are capable of doing but you do want to remember that it's not always going to be like that right like they do take time to get there now ui goku does not take any time to get to his defense right okay so like vegeto blue took 135k right there keep in mind that ui goku easily could have dodged that attack right we're still early enough in the fight that goku would have had a 70 percent chance to dodge that super attack Whereas Vegito Blue took 135k. And even though, you know, the two blue fusions next to each other, I mean, is probably the best rotation in the game, right? I, I would think so. Um, even with that, right, um, in the first slot, like, both Vegito and Gogeta get stronger when they super attack. So, you know, if you just consider that, in that first slot you will take a, a little bit more damage for whichever blue fusion is in the first slot. You know, I, I found that they are good enough defensively to get the job done even in the first slot. You know, unless you're going to take, like, 10 attacks before the blue fusion can even attack, which, you know, I found that's, that's kind of rare. But then again, at the same time, I feel like that very first slot is also probably the most common to receive attacks and potentially receive super attacks as well. So that is something you want to keep in mind. I mean, you know, here we go. UI Goku 3.82. Um, we saw Vegito Blue. I mean, it wasn't exactly the greatest amount of key or situation for him. But Vegito Blue was still at like a 2 million attack stat when we saw him, right? So, you know, I, you know, I, no matter who you like better, the Blue Fusions or UI Goku, I mean, they're just, again, in the very top tier. And, like, you can look at all the other options we potentially could bring on here, right? You could do STR LR Vegito Blue. You could still go ahead and bring him. Because he is prepared for battle. But guess what? UI Goku um, has prepared for battle. Uh, SDR Gogeta has prepared for battle before he transforms. After he transforms, Gogeta loses prepared for battle. And I think he gains Warrior Gods, I believe, is the link that replaces prepared for battle. But, you know, I mean, I don't know. Okay, so 2.22. Okay, so, okay, th this is good. This is good. I mean, we see that UI Goku, um, like, th we don't have support type units on this team. And we could see the higher attack stats that UI Goku's putting out than the Blue Fusions. But then again, with Gogeta specifically, we do want to remember that he is super effective against all types. You know, whereas UI Goku just has the very shitty, you know, guard break ability, which is, is like fodder. I'm sorry. I, I've never found that ability to be that useful. You know, you have Gogeta, who is super effective against all types. It, it's just, it's silly. It's absurd what he's capable of doing, right? Um, and then the other thing, too, about UI Goku, I mean, you're, I've never, ever, ever, ever found difficulties in super attacking with the Blue Fusions. Their links are good, their teams are good, it's just not really a concern. But, you know, we do also have to talk about UI Goku. The UI Goku is with the ridiculous link set. You know, his, his link set is going to be perfect for these teams. Four million right there, very good. Again, this is without support. You know, the Spirit, Spirit Bomb Goku can be a support type unit, but it's when he shoots the Spirit Bomb off, right? We're not, you know, we haven't shot the Spirit Bomb off, so he's not really counting as a support type unit or, any, or anything like that. And, like, we can't say that UI Goku is in a better situation here than the Blue Fusions either, because we have the Blue Fusions next to each other. They share many links together. Legendary Power. I believe they have Kamehameha together. Um, they might have... No, they don't have Warrior Gods. What what link? Here, I want to pull them up side by side and see what links they share. So they have Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Um, the difference is, is... Oh, it's just... It's just Power Bestowed by God as Warrior Gods. So they share six links together. Yeah, okay. So, you know, obviously, sharing six links together, uh, you know, the units, they're... You know, they're pretty good linking partners. And then when it comes to UI Goku, right, I believe we do have um, all of his relevant attack links active as well um, next to that uh, blue cow can go. Yeah, there's, see? Again, like, okay, okay. I I'm liking the way this is going because, like, that's 200k that Vegito Blue just ate right there. 
Again, if that was UI Goku, we'd have at least a 50% chance to dodge that. Plus, UI Goku depends on how many dodges he's had. But UI Goku's defense would be superior um, it, in, against that first attack. Now, after Vegito and Gogeta super attack several times, their defense is going to be superior, right? That, that's definitely a, a big important thing to remember because they raise defense for one turn when they super attack. So in particular, Vegito, if he gets two or three super attacks, he doesn't take damage after that. Like, basically, he's just completely stonewalling whatever is attacking him. So that's super good. Um, but yeah, they are great. Let me actually take a look at UI Goku just real fast again to confirm. Yeah, because Kamehameha, Godly Power, Fierce Battle. Okay, the one attack link that he's not sharing with Blue Kaoken Goku is Legendary Power, right? Legendary Power is, you know, obviously a link that Blue Kaoken Goku doesn't have. But, like, uh, this UI Goku's presence alone just dramatically increases this guy. This guy is so much better now, now that LR UI Goku exists, right? Because previously... His Spirit Bomb was not, like, very easy to get off and stuff like that. Now it is. You know, we have all these active skill units. Again, I've I haven't really talked about, like, you know, AGL, Blue, Gogeta, who's on the team, you know, dishing out guaranteed crits. You know, think about the fact that, like, LR, Rose, Goku, Black exists. Um, we're not running him. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, AGL, Rose is about to get an EZA. There's so many, like, good god Gokus, including the LR, Supreme Opaya Time. You know, there's also, like, the, the Tech Blue Vegeta, as well as the Physical Blue Goku. Like, the roster that we have to work with here is just... It, it's ridiculous. It's insane. Like, I feel like this is going to be the most fun team you can run right here. This rotation... This is, this is nuts right here. This... These are the three best units in the game right here. I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and end this with this just supreme display of strength right here. I mean, these three, this is the pinnacle of fun right here. Like, one of the reasons, you know, I, I was telling global players, like, you know what? If you do want to summon for, for this guy, UI Goku, just go for it. Because, like, with him, so far using him, he has been, uh, like about as fun nearly as fun as the blue fusions to me because of his dodging ability but then again he doesn't have like the crazy active skill animations all right and we've reached the point by the way where ui goku can no longer match their damage oh I th okay i thought that was a triple super attack for a second by him because like you know when we start getting those the, the triple supers by vegito you know gogeta does the super attack the normal and then he also gets the um uh, additional super attack the damage that they're dealing at that point it's just, it's so silly. It's so stupid. It's so ridiculous. This team, which, you know, we can't run on either version of the game right now because obviously the Blue Fusions are not yet out on Global. And then also, um, UI Goku is not out on JP. You know, we'll see when UI Goku comes to JP. Even with his passive run out, remember that his passive goes down from, you know, 70% chance to 50% chance to dodge. 50% chance to dodge is still a godly ability. So. Let me know what you guys think of this Realm of Gods team. I mean, UI Goku is just power incarnate added into the game. They gave this guy a ridiculous unit. Now, seeing how crazy this guy is, what is the, like... Yep, there we go. Look at that. That would have been, you know, 300k damage right there or something like that. Like, like the blue fusions would have... Uh, you know, Vegito would have taken at least 100k, probably closer to, like, 200k from this guy. Maybe a bit more. Who knows? And same with Gogeta. But, like, UI Goku just completely clean dodges it. So, like, there's pros and cons to these units. They're all incredible. Um, this Realm of Gods team is crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but, like, this... Whew, boy. You want to talk about fun? We've got it here in spades with this Realm of Gods team. I cannot wait until UI Goku comes to JP. I cannot wait to see what mastered silver hair, you know, completed, perfect UI Goku, whatever you want to call him. I cannot wait to see what his LR is going to look like which is going to happen eventually. I mean, whew, man, because, again, just Ultra Instinct Sign, I think, is the best unit in the game. So what's going to happen when we get the the, the, the big dick version of, of Ultra Instinct, right? What's going to happen at that point? So let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.